Mm -hmm. What's wrong? It's tiring to be in this country. I can't put my hand around it. You know, businesses, how to start your business, how to grow your things, how things are working in this country is tiring. And it makes me feel sad. Don't worry about that, okay? Join me today as I meet my guest. A foreigner that left a country finding something that is wonderful in this country. Join me as we hear from her what is keeping her in Nigeria. There could be something that is good about this country. Let's join her to find out. Time to talk. Another beautiful day here today. This is our Excellency Kaini Kwanda. Today is yet an exciting day for me. And I'm talking today with someone that is so interesting. Before I get there, you know, sometimes you some things you see in life that makes nothing to you might actually be something. You know? Sometimes we look at a thing that uh so simple like water, you know, and we don't know that water actually has a lot of value. You know, life is what you think. Life is what you see. Life is what you think it to be. Today we'll be talking a little bit about our mindset because sometimes we see things differently and I'm right, you're wrong, but you know, it all tells about what I think. And what you're thinking today i have someone so interesting miss katarina miss katz she's so interesting oh my goodness she's full of life full of energy she's so positive i don't know i like to have the energy that she's got man but today i'll be talking to her and it will be very nice having you stay tuned it's time to talk we'll be right back it's time to talk. Thank you for staying tuned. So today you're gonna to be meeting Miss Kat. And she's gonna talk a little bit about herself. First of all, you're welcome to the show. Thank you, Miss <laughs> Kate. It's really a, a great pleasure yeah. having you today. Um, I'm Catalina Matias. Wow. A mother of three Nigerian kids. I'm a Filipino from Philippines, the beautiful country of many islands. And um, this is my 20 years of stay in Nigeria. So I'm really proud to be in this morning session. Wow, <laughs> that's beautiful. So thank you so much. Yes. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. You just said some, something like you're from the Philippines. Yes. And what are you doing in Nigeria? Um, Nigeria is, is a beautiful place. So I decided to stay and have another life and a second home. Wow. You know, this is so interesting <laughs> because, you know, people run away from Nigeria, running away to, you know, like I've been, you know, I've been living outside for more than a decade now. And I came back and it was like, wow, everything is beautiful. And, but people still think living the country is better life, you know, like, and thinking is the mindset. Can you talk a little bit about that? Wow, this is amazing, Miss K. You know what? Um, before I answer that question, yes, couple of my friends and most of my friends, you know, said, Catalina, what is keeping you in Nigeria? Wow. Why you decided to stay, not just to work there, but you wanted to have a life as well. I said, you don't see what I see. Simple answer. So it's the same thing that I'm going to give you today, Miss K. You know, mindset is about what you see. Mm. You only see the things that you believe for. As we were talking a while ago, mm. I said people restrict about many things. They wanted to put a lot of boundaries. They said, I don't want to do this. I don't believe in that. I don't want to follow this. I, I will not stay in Nigeria because of so many things. They only see the things that they would like to see because of the belief system. So mindset is all about what is in your thought. And what 
comes to your mind and what you think most of the time is what you do and mm. what you see and what you live for. So as simple as that. So mindset is what really is your real self. It talks about your culture. Mindset uh, it speak about, it speaks about your lifestyle. It speaks about your values, your core values in life. So true. Your dream, your future, your direction, everything is about it. Wow. Your actions, that is the effect. Wow. The thought is the is the cause. So this is life is about cause and effect. Yes. Yes. So a lot of people that I've encountered, we hardly talk about mindset. Mm. Say we can acquire skills, we can go to the school, get more certificates, um, get more experience. You know, in the in in, in, in the job line. You don't have experience, you don't get more value. Mm. But actually, the most important in life is the mindset because this is the basic and the most fundamental item in your success in life. Not just in the achievement, but also about the pursuit of happiness. Wow. So then, okay, let me not speak more than this. This is wonderful. <laughs> you know, you said yes. a lot. There's something that I, I, I mean, there's something you said that I really like. You know, mindset, we want to know, can it actually limit people? We'll be right back. It's time to talk. <laughs> Welcome back. You know, we're talking about can mindset actually limit people? To be honest with you, the only limit in our life, because a lot of people say the sky is the limit. Yes. But that is not very true. One day I found out because when you limit yourself, your limit is in the mind. Wow. So it means if you have a limitless mind, then you are um, you are beyond borders. You are beyond mm. possibilities and impossibilities. Wow. You can go more than expected. Wow. And you can do impossible things. And somebody says, you can be the miracle. You can be the miracle. You are looking for miracles. You are looking for success everywhere. But you are the miracle. So if you set boundaries in somebody's life, it is about your thinking. Wow. If I tell you, Miske, you can do great stuff. You can change this country. You can change the lives of the youth. You can change our economy. How? That is the beginning. Wow. Everything is here. Wow. So thank you. That's beautiful. <laughs> because, you know, most times we limit ourselves because of the things we see. That's right. So what are the things that can actually help people? What I do, I'm talking about myself in, yes. in reality. It's about discovering yourself or rediscovering. Some people they've discovered themselves a long time ago. But that fire, that soul, wow. you need to rekindle them. You need to revive them. They said you need to tell the soil, you need to apply fertilizer, you need to dig in to bring more life, to bring more wow. fresh items. But some people they didn't even discover themselves. So if once you didn't discover yourself or refuse or you stop to rediscover yourself, then that is a big limitation. Mm. And that is how fear comes in. You're afraid to start this, you're afraid to try new stuff, you're afraid to believe in new things, you are afraid or you are hesitant to adapt to new lifestyle because you have already given yourself a box. The moment that box is there, and that is what you're going to look at every day, every day. I can do this, I don't have this, I'm limited, and this and that. The country is this, the government is that, the, the, the global crisis is there. So everything that you see becomes negative because your mindset is in a box. But the moment you break those barriers, you will see how huh, the beauty beyond possibilities is called opportunities in the middle of calamities. Wow! So, my goodness! You know what? You just speak like a philosopher. You know, because this is really, really deep. My goodness. Wow. This is, I wish people can understand actually what you're talking about because it takes a big mind to understand what you're saying. Because this is reality. Because what you think actually creates what you want to be. That's right. And if you don't see it, you won't do it. You won't do it. And then the youth today, all over the world, globally, I don't know what they see. You know, I want to know from your own opinion, what you think can help our youth to see differently or to think differently? I was once a youth, of and course. I want to go back there. 
nobody <laughs> wants to leave youthfulness. Um, as I've said always to my friends and to my fellow and beloved Nigerians and to wow. my friends who are listening and watching today, that the youth is our hope, is the engine of any country in the world. So there are a lot of things that affect their mindset. First, the environment, pairs, and uh, basically the family setup, and the educational uh, system. Once there's a good seed, it will never die. Mm. You may go astray, mm. but one day you're going to come back. Mm. Because every powerful seed will always bear good fruit. Mm. So background is very important. Our education is very important. Our homes, our parents, our mentors, they are very important. And mm. what you feed in your head when you were young, they are the, the, the future mm. thoughts that the Causes that you're going to handle to make the effects. And those are the things that are going to determine your actions, your choices mm. in life. That's why you can see when you reach maturity, from youthfulness, you become matured, and you start settling in, you got your careers, your options in life matters. Because what comes in, into your head affects every decision and every step you're taking. So I wow. hope I was able to meet up. No, 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 because, <laughs> you know, yeah, this is spontaneous it's not like you plan to say anything you know not really. well this is natural because we all go through this problem people don't because like you know you have to identify the roots which is our mind because if you don't know it in our mind if you don't think it like if i want to go steal this cup i have to think oh i'm gonna steal this cup so you can think negative you can think positive but the energy today is how to put our mind to the positive, to create things, you know? And then you have really said a lot about that. And I'd like to know from you, your own experience, coming to Nigeria and staying <laughs> in Nigeria, which is in Africa. Wow. What was your mind? What, 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 what were you thinking? Okay, this is a very, very awesome question, yeah. uh, Ms. K. Initially, I was a fresh grad newly married when I migrated to Nigeria. Okay. I was not here for adventure or anything, but I said, let me widen my horizon. Anyway, everybody was running away to go to Africa in my country. To be honest with you, everybody was speaking about going to the US, going to the UK, Catalina, why go there? You have families in some other parts of the world, but why go to Nigeria? As if I'm going to, to go for a suicide mission. mission. <laughs> So this is how the belief system of my relatives yeah. and my friends. But believe it or not, I see beauty in Nigeria. I see a dream. I see opportunity. Wow. I see fresh land. I see good harvest in the future. So my mindset was very different. To be honest with you, I'm not speaking because of, of, of why I'm here today, but I would like to share to my fellow friends and to my countrymen in Nigeria and also to the, any other part of the world watching this show today, that Nigeria is a beautiful country. So when I came in here, my mindset was, I have to filter what is in my head. Exactly. Because a lot of voices. So you have to choose which mm. one you're going to listen to. Wow. People will say, oh, no, Malaria will kill you there. Mm. Oh, no. So all the no's and the fears that they have uh, imputed in my head, I have to rearrange them mm. and I have to declutter myself. So these are the things that are really difficult, especially when you are facing pressure when you have your setbacks. And when I was in Nigeria mm. uh, a few years back, I was saying that, oh my God, I wish I didn't come to this country. It came to that very point, with all honesty. Sometimes it comes to myself, am I really doing the right choice? Mm. But believe it or not, when you are focused and when you have that belief system that this country is a gold mine, that this country is a country of talents, that this nation is a powerful nation, nothing can change me. Nothing can change that thinking. And I will remain, as I've said, my mission in Nigeria is not yet done. Whether I'm appreciated or not, whether I'm supported or not, whether I'm all alone, but one day, one at a time, a good seed that is planted to the right soil will germinate. And it has to go through a painful process. Wow. And these painful procedures, Wow. once you give the right water and the right sunlight and the right attention, no doubt, 110%, you must get a fruit and a harvest. 
This is so awesome. this is just my little testimony. This is <laughs> awesome. You have a lot of experience and you know, coming to meet you today is mind blowing to me because you have so much to talk about and you've actually encountered a lot of things and people and yet you still yourself because people that I've spoken to, most people have this blame game you know, can you talk a little bit about that? You, you know, before you ask three people, why are you doing this? Oh, they blame the system, they blame their family, they blame the government. How do we come up from that? Actually, it's a, it's a very painful reality, not just in Nigeria, but everywhere in the part of this, uh, mm -hmm. the world. When we see problems, when they are, um, the, when there are presence, and uh, the, how do you call it? You, you ex the, 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 uh, the, uh, the, there is a there is a real real picture of okay. disaster sometimes, okay. bad experiences, yes, yes, and yes. disappointment. Mm -hmm, People will mm -hmm. think negatively. So your focus is on the negative things. So your reaction now that is the cause your thoughts. Now the reaction, the effect, your actions is as because you started pointing. This burn, um, dropping names, blaming, pointing fingers. Are the, 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 the effects of negative thoughts. That is why it's good to filter your, 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 your thinking or what's, what comes to your head. Every day, every minute, you have to, you have to put like an antivirus. It's mm. similar to a computer mm. because you don't see what you can give, what you can impact to the community, what you can do to your neighborhood. Oh, there is problem in the trash or waste management. Oh, there is problem in noise management. Oh, there is a problem or there is an issue or a matter to tackle when it comes to green and environmental uh, initiatives. Why not start within yourself and say, this is what I can do in my house, in my family, with mm. my kids, with my friends. So everybody is pointing fingers because you don't see your value or we hardly see. What we can give. What we can give. This is the, the problem that we, we, we put ourselves as an example. Like this one has a role, but I don't have. This one has a responsibility, but I'm not responsible. The moment you begin to become responsible for everything, all this problem will stop. All this blame game, all these pointing fingers will mm. stop. So I am a responsible citizen. I am a responsible visitor i am a responsible friend i am a responsible friend i am a responsible mentor so responsibility comes to good thinking wow wow you said a lot already this is mind-blowing because you know you keep going and going because there's a lot to talk about you know because sometimes you wonder why can't you see this because you know like what you said even in schools and then we teach our kids today to put the blame you ask a kid why am you uh, why can't you do this that's right like no 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 let the help do that you know like it's not for me to do and it's not from there but this is beautiful it's nice talking to you today thank you so much it's so <laughs> wonderful <laughs> wonderful we're gonna have more talks to talk about because yeah you're full of positive energy and you know you don't give up what you don't have it's good to share your feeling, you go to share your energy because some people are so down. And if you ask them what's the problem, they don't even know. They just feel like life is not fair to them. That's right. For some reason, and they can't even explain why. It's not nice talking to you. Thank you, Miss K, and more power to you. So if you just tuned in, I've been talking to Miss Kat today, and we've been talking so much about our mind, what our mind can do, how to change our mind. And we're still going to talk about more on this topic, but in another time. So till we come your way again, be positive. Bye for now. It's time to talk.